So hello and thank you for joining. Today we'd like to talk a little bit about our post-treatment process of, of bushings that have already been molded or components that have already been rubber to metal bonded. So let's talk to Pablo. He is our general manager of our Corretro facility in Mexico. Good morning, Pablo. Good morning, Troy. Happy to join you again. Thank you. So let, let's move to the next slide here and we'll talk a little bit about post-treatment of suspension components and, and how we can improve uh, corrosion resistance on those components after molding. Okay, that, that's good. Um, it's a great item to discuss because uh, I've been in the industry long enough and, and a lot of people confuse that uh, zinc phosphate, once a part is phosphated, it will uh, resist uh, corrosion. And that's not really accurate. It will resist corrosion if you put some type of rust inhibitor on top. Call it a light oil or the primer, top coat, or, or, or some, some type of a coating on top uh, of the phosphate. The phosphate by itself, it will start rusting almost immediately if you put it on a salt spray chamber. So with that said, most of the parts or components that we apply HIC to similar uh, are going to uh, build the bushing similar to the picture. So those parts were previously phosphated, but they will rust over time unless you put some type of oil. So in this, um, um, right nowadays, our customers are looking for salt spray prevention um, while the bushings are on the vehicle. So we develop a uh, sink plating um, that won't harm the rubber component, and, and that's basically what we're doing these days. So, so we have two type of chemistries in Pioneer, uh, zinc iron and zinc nickel. Uh, both are available, but the zinc iron now is most common on our days. Uh, zinc iron can give you a 720 hours in mm. salt spray chamber, and it will create a surface looking similar to the one on the picture. So what you're trying to do there, instead of uh, the, the steel coming on in, in contact with the environment, you will create a, a, a layer of uh, zinc iron that will help, help you fight those uh, environment and, and, and create a good resistance for, for salt spray. Uh, our plating approximately is 0.3 to 1% of iron and in the case of nickel is 12 to 15 percent. As mentioned uh, before, uh, nickel is, is not used a lot because it's a little bit more expensive and uh, the appearance is not as shiny as, as the one that zinc iron has. Okay, well thank you. So let's touch on a little bit of the, the comparison between these photos here from a salt spray standpoint. Um, can you touch on what we've used here and what we're seeing? Right, yeah, um, obviously you can see we, we had two different type of tests. Uh, the one on top is just a, a steel part that was uh, zinc iron coated. And you can see the, the effect after 480 hours on the left and 480, uh, I'm sorry, 960 hours on the right. And then with that same chemistry, we applied it to rubber components, uh, bushings, uh, and you can see the same uh, effect in the in the lower picture on the left at 480 hours with no red rust, and after 960 hours, uh, no red rust either on the bushings. So uh, again, this is a good chemistry. Uh, usually, our customers are looking for 720 hours out of a zinc iron, but we can easily get to close to 1,000 hours with no rust. Wow, that's great. Well, in conclusion, what you can see here is that we have a couple of different post bonding methods that'll allow uh, our customers to have some corrosion resistance to their parts. And so that's something that uh, the OEMs are looking for. That's something that Pioneer can offer to our customers. So Pablo, thank you very much for presenting today. Thank you, Troy, no problem.